Good morning, YouTube. <laughs> okay, so this morning I received a comment and it was basically from a viewer and they were asking about um, TCA pills and hypopigmentation, which is the opp opposite of hyperpigmentation where you're going to get white blotches versus darker ones. Um, myself, personally, I haven't encountered any hypopigmentation or hyperpigmentation when I've done the TCA pills or any other pills for that matter. However, I took the time to do some research um, before uh, replying or doing this video and I found that it's not necessarily uncommon to experience some form of hyperpigmentation or hypopigmentation. Um, I went on a website, I think it was realself.com, and they were discussing, um, well, some people were stating that they've experienced hyperpigmentation blotches or hypopigmentation blotches, blotches on their skin after they've had an at-home TCA pill, or some didn't say it was at home, they just said a TCA pill, and, um, the reply back from dermatologists was basically that this can happen. It is a side effect sometimes that people encounter. And then for those individuals that said it did it at home, they were basically stating that it, this can happen. And this is why they really don't suggest that you do at home pills. However, it is a side effect. Um, some were saying that it's basically caused by, uh, the depth of the pill so if you're gonna leave I guess if you leave the pill on too long you might go too deep and then you're gonna encounter either hyperpigmentation or hypopigmentation um, as a side effect possibly um, does it go away with time some say that it does I was reading on other sites and um, blogs and things of that sort that people said that they've had it and it disappeared it faded with time some have stated that they've had it and they still have it and it just is months later and now they're trying to figure out what to do. Um, I'm not sure how you would go about fixing this because for myself, I don't have problems with hypopigmentation. I have a problem with hyperpigmentation, hence my reasoning for doing a TCA pill um, to lighten up some spots and things of that sort. But for the hypopigmentation, they were stating on uh, the Real Self site that it can or it might be able to be you know uh reversed but you need to go see a dermatologist and things of that sort um i don't think that there's anything well at least the, i don't know of anything myself that you, there's on the market that can alter the effects such as you would have a fade cream or a lightning cream if you have hyperpigmentation to lighten up those spots but if you have a lighter spot I'm not exactly sure how you would go about trying to fix that um, without probably having to go see a dermatologist or your doctor or someone to see if they can give you some kind of cream to kind of help that out but I'm not exactly sure because this is actually if it's brought on by a TCA pill it could just be a side effect that just has to um, stave itself stave itself out and you know fix itself on its own or you, there might be something a dermatologist can, yeah, dermatologist can do but I'm not exactly sure so with that I say no I haven't experienced this but it doesn't seem to be um, extremely rare or uncommon that people have encountered this and it happens no matter what the strength of the pill it seems to happen mostly with pills that physically frost and peel your skin and slough off layers. And this is, like I said, because of the depth of the pill, how deep it's going into your skin, which is hence how you get your peeling. Um, the uh, comment from the person said that they were using a fade cream. Um, and I don't, <laughs> I mean, I could say the person's name, but I don't, I don't know if they want their name put all over the video so they stated that they were using a fade cream and I'm not sure how this 
could be affected by the TCA. And what I can say is this, I've used uh, lightning creams prior that were prescribed lightning creams. And I know without a doubt, I put them on my skin and was not paying full attention and was out in the sun and it bleached me white in some areas. I had literally white spots. It looks as if I had something similar to vitiligo. Uh, it was hypopigmentation and it took you know, a couple weeks, a month, give or take, for it to subside. But it was there, and it was because of the sun and the combination of the fade cream or the lightning cream or whatever you want to call it. So, I mean, it could be a side effect from the fade cream if you've been out in the sun. It could be the TCA pill because this is known to happen. Um... I mean, it could be several things. If it's been going on for a couple months um, and you haven't pulled back on the fade cream, I would pull back on the fade cream. I would probably pull back on the TCAs as well. I give my skin a break from everything. And then if you're still having this problem, I, I would go see a dermatologist or a doctor or someone just to see what they say. And uh, it could be that, I mean, it'll stop on its own and you don't want to wait so, I mean, you can just go to the dermatologist or the doctor. You know, that's totally up to you. But like I said, this isn't abnormal. And it isn't something that's rare. I don't see how anybody said that they fixed it or anything has happened. They've either said that they had it and it hasn't gone away. Or they've said that they had it and they're going to see the dermatologist. Or, you know, they've uh, had it and it's faded on its own. So I'm not exactly sure. If anybody is viewing this and has information about it, feel free to do a reply. <laughs> feel free to leave a comment so uh, the viewer who left me the comment can get some more information about this because I know that there are a couple people on my uh, subscribers, just to say my subscribers list, that have TCA videos as well. So anyways, thank you guys for viewing and... Have a great day.